My name is Justin Williams, and I'm the founder of Axis Off Grid. And currently we're in this series called Sir Thrival. And Sir Thrival is all about learning to thrive no matter what your circumstances and no matter what the elements. And it's more than just about being out in the woods. It's about your daily life, how to thrive in your daily life. And today is the second part and we're gonna be looking at shelters. So I wanna encourage you guys to stick with me as we get ready to break down some basic shelter setups. <laughs> to look at next is how to set up a proper ridge line. A common mistake is people will have these saggy ridge lines and what will happen is, is water will pull up or the wind will flap the, the tarp all night long because it's not tight. And so what we're going to be doing is setting up a simple tarp shelter between these two trees right here. The ground is level and the trees are far enough apart that we're going to have a good shelter set up. And we're just going to be using these basic budget friendly tarp setups. All right, so we have our main overhand loop attached to the main tree. Then we have our slip loop. Now we're gonna take our working end around the tree in the slip loop, and then we're gonna to begin to cinch it down and tighten it. Make sure that you adjust it at waist height again. Make sure that the ridge line is parallel and we've gone through the loop. You wanna make sure you come back the way you came to cinch it down. And we're creating essentially here a trucker's hitch. And then we're going to begin to wrap this string around the main line. So we got our working in, wrapping the main line. And after a few passes, we're going to create a bite in the string again, pinching it to the main ridge line, laying it, opening it up, and laying it over and letting it slide up just like we did earlier with the slip loop, creating our trucker's hitch. So once you have your ridge line established, then there's a couple basic shelter setups, everything from an A-frame to a lean-to. The first one we're gonna do is an A-frame, and all you do is lay the tarp over it in the middle and then stake out your four corners. And there we have our basic A-frame shelter set up. So once your shelter is built, from here all you got to do is add in your ground barrier such as your trash bags or an oil cloth and then have your insulative blanket and you're going to be great. So the next shelter setup is the lean-to and all you're going to do is take your grommet and you're going to run it this original ridgeline string right through it. Take that through, put a toggle some type of stick and then pull your trucker's hitch tight and that'll lock the first corner of your lean-to into place. Then we'll come to the other side and we can either tie off a prussic loop to this or attach it to the tree. And today since this ridge line is so close, we'll just tie it off to the tree. Once your ridge line is set up, then you're going to find your middle grommet and you're going to stake this middle grommet down on both sides. Middle grommet, stake it down on both sides. All right, once we staked out our back, I went ahead and chunk a stick in there to kind of keep it propped back, and then I stake down my front. The easiest shelter and the one that I teach my kids is a plow point. And all it takes is a tarp and a little bit of string. This could be a shoestring, it could be some vine or anything. And so all we're going to do is take the one corner and tie it to the tree. And once again, any basic knot will do. I usually just do a square knot because I can teach my kids that. Or even a shoe tie knot 
by just sticking in your rabbit ears and tying like a shoe tie knot. Then all I gotta do is stake out three of my corners. Stake that off, come off to the side, pull it out. And you can either stake off each corner or you could come in one and tuck in under some. It's really up to you depending on how much size you need, how much space. From here, instead of tying off this corner, I'm gonna come in one grommet, and then I'll tuck in the rest. And what this does is it gives me a dry place to at least lay my head. These survival shelters may not seem like much, but they really do make all the difference in just getting by and suffering in the woods and really beginning to thrive. Having an adequate shelter is going to provide you protection, it's going to give you warmth, and it's going to give you that sense of accomplishment and being able to establish uh, some sense of um, resemblance to what home might be like, and that itself can be huge. So even if you don't have a tarp, you can find laid over trees like these two behind me and just begin to lay limbs and, and debris over the top of it to create yourself a debris hut. And it's the little things like that that can really begin to go a long ways to your survival. So just as a shelter can provide you protection from the elements, the scripture tells us in Psalms 91 verse 1 that those who take shelter or refuge in the Lord will find rest and peace. And so I really hope and pray that as you are thinking about shelter building, that you also understand that there is protection and provision for those who trust in God. He, he provides a shelter over us. He is our strong tower, our shelter, our fortress. He's there to protect us in our every need. Um, and so that's something that's hard too. There's so much anxiety and fear and depression about our needs being met. But when you trust in God to provide you that shelter, he will always come through. And it's so important that you understand that. He tells us in scripture that even the birds do not worry about tomorrow for God will, God will provide for them. That for tomorrow will take care of itself. Um, tomorrow is going to have its own worries and stresses. You need to worry about today. Focus on the things that are going on in your life today and trust in him and take shelter in the Lord. And you will find peace, rest, provision, and protection.